so hello and welcome back and in this video we are going to continue our cricket score counter app that we are building using react native and expo so in the last video we were i mean uh, we just started a react native project using expo and we just create this icon and uh, to actually run it we can just uh, run the start script maybe npm start and that will actually run it and what we can do is on our phone we can open up expo and once we run it we are uh, wait a minute so here i ran x uh, i ran yarn start which in the end ran expo start and it gives me a kind of a warning you're currently running this version so we'll install the latest version later on but for now as you can see here is our expo right i mean here is this so now in order to run our project again if we go back to uh, to expo on our mobile app you can see our recent projects down there so you can just click that one and that will actually hopefully open up our old project okay and this uh, let's just zoom out on this let's reset and it says starting metro bundler and says something went wrong so let's say refresh and let's hope that it works and if it does not work then we can just scan the qr code okay and hopefully that will work because i can see the splash screen logo like uh, right there so finally our app has started now and uh, what we had is just an icon just a feather icon and nothing else so in this video we are going to create the header section uh, the actual uh, the score that we have so if you take a look at the actual app this is how it looks like and in the actual app we have the score section up there which is what we are actually going to create okay in this in this video so very first of all what we are going to do is remove all of the styles from the container we are not going to need them and also hopefully you are able to see everything and also we will remove the feather icon that we have we are also going to remove unnecessary imports and actually we are not going to need any styles for the app itself for the app.js so let's just remove this and for now we are just going to create uh, have a view let's save this and it's going to hot re reload and we get an error it says uh yep we have we are using the style here so let's just remove this style as well okay so just an empty view component now this is totally empty so we are going to create a new file so i'm going to create a new folder first of all that will be called components okay in which i'm going to store all of my components so first of all i'm going to create a core.js component you can also use .jsx if you're using typescript you can use .tsx uh, so in the score.js first of all oh i closed it okay so we need to import react from react here because react native right now we have to do that uh, jsx transform is not supported so let's just copy that paste that and let's create uh an arrow function like const score is equal to like so okay so this is what we are gonna have so in the score.js we are actually gonna return some jsx or some react native components right so what i can do is i can just say import uh, so we're gonna import some of them we are gonna import first of all let's just import something from uh, react native here we go and now we are going to import the style sheet because we are going to create styles okay so first of all style sheet and then view and then text as well for now and basically we are going to return now f something so we're going to return a view first of all and we're going to say a text component and inside of the text component here we are going to have the runs right so i'm going to store the runs as zero zero and i can use alt shift down 
to duplicate it and this will be the wickets the current wickets right so in this view we are going to store the wickets and the runs and we're going to create another view and if you create another view it's going to throw us an error so let's wrap everything inside of fragments hopefully you know what are fragments and then we create another view and in that one we are going to store our overs so let's just create a text component again to store our text and we can just say overs is going to equal to and we're going to add an extra space right over here and we're going to add another text component to store our actual overs uh, the number actually so we're going to say it's going to be uh, 0, 0 at first let's save that and yeah that was gone and no problem we're going to put it later on again so we have score but we are not even using it so let's just export default um, score and now i'm going to go back to app.js and inside of this view i can just say score but we also need to import it so i can just click this with the uh, grayed out text okay the path so that will automatically import it for us right so let's just say like so self-closing component hit save and that's going to give us some kind of text that you are not able to see now also there might be some devices where uh, there might be some small devices where you would need to scroll down so in that case we are not going to use view here we are going to import the scroll view component and we're going to go down and inside instead of using view we are going to use the scroll view okay so that lets us uh, scroll around our app so once that is done and also let's just create a status bar so we, first of all we are going to wrap it with fragments like so and we're going to create a status bar so let me just import status bar real quick so status bar and status bar is nothing but uh wait a minute status bar is nothing but uh, uh, because our content is right up there which we don't actually want so in the status bar here we go so this is a self closing one and what we're going to do here is basically say bar style and bar style is going to be dark content and then hidden will be false and background color will be equal to some color you can choose whichever color you want but i am going to choose a whitish color i'm just going to paste it in right here and translucent is equal to true and that will create and wait a minute Oops, that should be equal and that will create a status bar up there which looks a lot better and our content is still are uh, uh, there but no worries we are gonna put that down so uh, that's it for app just app js and let's go back to score js now let's give it some styling so styles will be quite simple so we're gonna create a box so let's just create a styles variable so const styles is equal to style sheet dot create okay that's what we use and we pass in an object now in the styles first of all i'm going to create a score style so score uh, and the score is actually this is what you see okay this is the score so let's give this view a style of style is equal to styles dot score and so we are going to say it's going to have first of all a border width border width of 2 or 2 pixels then we are going to have a border color of black so we need to wrap it inside of strings remember that then we are going to have a border radius of 10 so once we do that it's going to create a border around it and then we are going to have a padding of 20 pixels and then we are going to have margin of 15 pixels 
not actually pixels but 15 only so that gives us that and then to put it a bit down so we're gonna have a margin top of 40 so that makes it look a lot better and then we're going to have flex direction of row because uh, we don't want both of these numbers to sit on each other right we want them side by side so we do that and they are in row and then we say justify content space around so the runs will be sitting here and the wickets will be sitting there so here we go so that looks a lot more neater so that's our score and now we're gonna give uh, the text uh, the text actually the style so let's just give it the style is equal to styles dot text and let's just copy this and paste it in here and this is actually the text and let's create that okay so text will be like so in the text we are gonna have a different font family later on but for now let's just set the font size to 45 so that uh, makes it a lot better now let's set uh, the overs so we're gonna create uh, we're gonna put the, uh, the that we copied earlier and we can change it to overs and let's go here and let's say overs will be like this so overs is quite simple it's just it's just going to have a margin right of 15 pixels oops 15 pixels uh, that's what we are gonna have okay right now so margin right will be 15 pixels and then the over text and the over number that's what we're gonna have so this is the over text and this is the over number so let's give this a style is equal to styles dot over text and this will be styles dot over number like this and let's give that the style so over text will be like this and we're gonna make it text align we're gonna make that right so that actually oops we need to wrap it inside of strings and let's also create the over number because then it will yell at us why haven't you uh, defined that style okay so now text align right and then we have we'll add the font size of 23 pixels so save that and as you can see the text line is right so he, what, that's what we want that's what is in the original app and the uh, and the font size is also 23 and over number will be empty for now because we are going to add font family to it and now finally we are going to add a horizontal line that you see in the original app so this is what you see okay so we're gonna add a similar line so let's do that and that will be quite simple as well so we're gonna create another view this time it's going to be oops this time is going to be an a self-closing one and we're gonna give it a style is equal to styles dot hr hr stands for horizontal rule so let's go down and let's set hr and this will be quite simple as i told so first of all we're gonna have a margin top of 21 then we are gonna have okay let's just see so not you'll see nothing because we don't have anything so let's set the border bottom color to black and then finally let's set the border bottom width to two pixels and that defines our horizontal rule so that is up uh, so that's it for our header we are going to come back to custom fonts later on but for now that's it for the header and in the next video we'll be creating the controls section which will also be quite exciting 
i hope this video helped you uh, please leave a like comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions or feedback and uh, finally thanks for watching